morning guys it is uh, Monday here I hope you enjoyed the uh, K Beauty J Beauty <laughs> haul that I posted yesterday I'm kind of excited about all the stuff that I got um, skincare update wise I polished off my Differin moisturizer last night so for the Differin moisturizer and the Neutrogena oil free moisturizer are essentially identical now I have another Neutrogena oil free moisturizer in my uh, backup arsenal uh, but I think I'm gonna try the Haralabo uh, Milky Lotion tonight, perhaps. And side note, you guys know, um, I obviously film the videos a week in advance, and so if you've corrected my pronunciation on these guys, uh, it's gonna take me a little while to uh, catch up with you, you all. So I appreciate any, uh, any uh, clarification of the pronunciations, because I hate butchering pronunciations. But, as far as the products, I have already tried, because as I mentioned in, my, in that vlog where I talked about some of the empties, um, I finished off yet another Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream, and I went ahead and cracked into the Haralabo uh, Super Plumping Hyaluronic Acid Gel Cream. I've used it for about two days now, and I have got to say, First impression, after about 48 hours of uh, BID, that means twice a day use, morning and night, same exact way I use my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream, I really like it. As far as I can tell, um, this brand is essentially maybe like a Japanese version of Neutrogena or something akin to it. I really think, <clears throat> excuse me, I really think it's quite, quite similar to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. It's fragrance free, it's got, uh, two forms of hyaluronic acid in it and uh, it uh, contains collagen in it which is derived marine collagen um, so I imagine perhaps that is derived from maybe seaweed I'm not entirely sure but I really like it it does not burn it does not sting it has no like filmy sensation to it it feels very very similar to the Hydro Boost gel cream and my moisturizers go on over it quite nicely I really like it. It's about $14.50 US, $14.50 on the Amazonian, whereas Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream is 20 bucks. So I think it's a good deal and I really like it so far. That's just my first impression of it. And because you guys watch my vlogs, you will be the first to know about everything that I'm trying out. So I like that. Um, haven't really uh, encroached into anything else yet though, so I just kind of take uh, new skincare one day at a time. I don't like to go putting too much, too many uh, seasonings in the mix, if you know what I mean. Speaking of seasonings, finished off my uh, lentil chickpea burgers. Uh, if I had a third thumb, I would give it a third thumb up. I mean. Lentils continue to amaze me in terms of their versatility as a food food source. So I really liked those. And this morning you saw I uh, had, of course, my beauty dust. I can't quit that stuff, guys. I just can't. I'm, I'm on, like, jar number seven. And love, love, love it. And also that stuff that I dusted on, if you're new here, um, that is my turmeric chai... Uh, elixir chocolate. Love dusting it on my uh, cauliflower oats. I didn't mix it in this time. I just dusted it on top for a little added adaptogenic uh, zing. Ugh, I love it that way. It's really good. Mom didn't like that one, but uh, I think she was underwhelmed by the chocolate flavor. Whereas uh, I think the chocolate flavor is nice and subtle. It's a nice subtle undertone. But she does like the turmeric one. So right now I'm just on my way to work. So right now I'm on my way to clinic. Oh, another um, update as far as my abrasions that I sustained on my uh, walk home Friday. Doing much better. Uh, and uh, they're on their way to, you know, they're doing fine. I uh, continue to keep them covered with uh, plain Vaseline, as I said in that video, and a bandage. And I've just been changing the band-aids out approximately every 24 hours. But band-aids are a real pain. 
Um, <laughs> I uh, shout out to uh, anybody who does wound care dressing, so like nurses and healthcare providers who do, who do that. Um, it's really quite arduous opening all those packages and very wasteful. I love those band-aids that I mentioned, but I buzzed through most of what I had because I usually don't. You, I, I honestly don't use that many band-aids in my lifetime. So, but I've used up all the good band-aids, and I went to Walgreens and got some other band-aids to kind of tide me over. And they're okay, but they're not as good as that, and they are uncomfortable as stink. So, I've got that on, and uh, things are going along swimmingly. But that is what is going on there. Well, Miss Gold Girl pointed out in her vlog the other day that at her H-E-B they had a giant Texas boot. Well, this one's got a giant Texas swing. I think uh, this one's kind of neat. I guess you can get a windmill, too. That's cool. Anyways, it's the noon hour and I'm here to get, uh, get an apple. So right before I left, I applied some of that Soul Bar Zinc uh, combination sunscreen I was sporting last week. So I got another layer on, but I have got to say, skin update. The Hada Labo Gel Cream, I don't want to speak too soon, but ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. Anyways, I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving that, and I'm still loving that Soul Bar Zinc. I've got a little bit left in that sample. That'll, uh, I'll reapply before I head on out after clinic today. Um, but I buzzed into HEB to, of course, get my, uh, I got a grapefruit again this time. And on Ibotta, I got, you know, another Suja. And, guys, check out the Ibotta Delio I got today. Y'all know that I like Stevia as my, um, uh, no sugar sweetener of choice. It, it's from a plant, so I assume that it's potentially better than saccharin, but who knows? It, it's only a matter of time until we learn that this is carcinogenic, I'm sure. But anyways, um, Ibotta has a dollar back rebate on this wholesome organic stevia packets. I like the little packets because they're easier to aliquot. I'm sure it's more cost expensive but HEB also had a dollar fifty off of this so I saved uh, two fifty on that which was a great deal for, for something like that and then I've, of course got a dollar back on my suja this is the same uber greens that I was enjoying last week so yeah if you guys haven't checked out Ibotta I recommend it I mean it's kind of hit or miss as far as what kind of rebates you can get on there but don't go into a st grocery store without it and apparently there there's some stuff you can get Ibotta deals on through uh, purchases on um, Amazon Amazon Prime anyways I've got my lunch here aside from my grapefruit and my uber greens I made um, I fin I told you guys I finished those um, I finished those uh, veggie burgers and I'm definitely gonna make another batch of those um, but I went ahead and just uh, quick cooked up some of the brown lentils and I'll show you my lunch because it looks fantastical yet again is anybody else out there like I enjoy I really enjoy clinic it's a lot of fun for me and uh, I love working with patients but it, who else's highlight of the day is is lunch that is about one of my favorite times, but anyways. All right, so I've got spinach, of course. Like, I can't eat a meal. I think breakfast is the only meal that I consume where there is an absence of spinach, and I could rectify that easily. Um, but anyways, I've got a bed of spinach here, and some cucumber slices, some sliced up carrot, and some sliced up uh, celery, um, some of the nori so he doesn't feel left out, some nutritional yeast. This is some of that um, kombu that I got at Fiesta the other day. Love, love, loving that. Um, reconstituted in a jar of cold water in a mason jar in the fridge, and then I just kind of... I just kind of harvest and dangle. <laughs> so uh, that's my lunch, plus sewage here for a little extra green. I do have to say, one thing that I think is also not really emphasized in um, both the Japanese and Korean skincare kind of 
lineup as far as what they do that is not sold in Sephora is their eating habits. I think and play a huge role in it. I mean, see what you think. Comment below on if, if you're, you have any thoughts on that. I mean, they have a largely plant-based diet, um, you know, low in, in, they don't consume any dairy. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong there. And uh, they don't, um, they eat a lot of sea veg. They eat a lot of sea veg. So, um, I think that that could contribute to their radiant skin. But anyways, I'm going to have this. I'm listening to the Plague of Doves. Um, and that's going along swimmingly. I'm enjoying that. And yeah, that is where I'm at. I had, of course, no idea that it would heal that way. And that as a result, it would be considered a permanent growth. Guys, clinic day is over. That Neutrogena lip gloss, I put it on this morning. And uh, for the second time, for the third time, I kind of like it. It's not, uh, it's not bad. You know, obviously with lip glosses and lip products, they wear off with food, with eating. So it wore off by the time my breakfast was over. But when it wears off, the lips are left hydrated. You know, I, I feel like while my experience with lip products for cosmetic purposes is limited because I just can't deal with it. Um, generally what I've observed is that like with lip glosses, when they start wearing off, they either goop up in the corners or they dry out your mouth and they, they force you to use more of the product. And, and uh, But this doesn't do that. This just wears off and it, it leaves, a, it I mean my lips feel so soft right now. Yesterday I uh, did some decluttering and one nice thing about being a minimalist, I, I, periodi I, I periodically declutter and each time I do it I have less to, to get rid of so it's less overwhelming. But the one thing that I am not a minimalist about is my food and so I, um, I eat all of my food that I purchase. It never goes bad but I do have to go through my pantry episodically and kind of uh, redivvy things up into containers. And the one thing that I would say is turning out to be a uh, Costco, uh, not impulse buy, but it keeps staring me in the face are the chia seeds. I should have known better. I think I fell into this dilemma. I don't need enough of the chia seeds to warrant the massive bag that I have. I mean, they don't really go bad and I do consume them, but the, the rate of consumption doesn't justify the quantity that I've got on hand. It's driving me nuts. So I think I'm going to try and just amp up my chia seed consumption game the next few weeks just to get rid of it. And if I didn't go far, I would have always thought like, you know what? All these sisters are fabulous. I haven't spun with them or barred with them yet. It's also a bar studio, so if you guys are like really down to bar, hit them up with bar. Hey guys, so you know I was lamenting the fact that I've got like so many chia seeds. I've got about a cup of chia seeds in this jar and I'm gonna make like a chia chocolate cherry pudding. Um, I'm not really like big into the chia pudding, but I'm motivated to use out my chia seeds. I picked up these um, a few weeks ago. They're just pitted red tart cherries in water. There's no, um, that's all there is. Red tart cherries, water. Uh, they're unsweetened. I got these at Kroger and they're pitted and I've just put like two servings of this. Um, coconut milk powder that I get on Vitacost. I used up uh, another bag that I had. And um, I'm gonna do that plus uh, the juice from the, the, plus the juice from the cherries. Then I've got some cacao powder here that I also got on Vitacost. Then I'm gonna use, I have a few more of these whole earth sweet, sweet leaf things. And so I'm gonna do like two packets in this serving here. Stevia. I just happen to be a fan of this. This one, it's like monk fruit and stevia. Helps if you plug it in. Love my. <laughs> Blend up the coconut milk, cherry juice, and the powder. And then I've got this Pyrex um, rectangular container here. And I'm just gonna. Pour that mixture in. And then I'm going to uh, just shake my chia seeds in. 
Yeah, honestly, I feel like I'll be more I'll be more motivated to eat the chia seeds if they're in like like a pudding like this than if I try and just wing it, do you, wing it, you know, rather than just sprinkling them on things, I'm more likely to eat them in a pudding like this because they're kind of messy. And if you've never used chia seeds before, you're like, what is she talking about? Um, they're basically little seeds that are kind of rich in omega-3 or six fatty acids supposedly. But what's salient about them is they um, bind up a lot of water and so they make things uh, gel. Um, so this basically will thicken up just like a pudding. Um, so I've added the rest of the chocolate of the cacao. I've added the rest of the cacao coconut um, milk to the top of the chia seed layer. And now I'm just pouring in the actual cherries and these are really good yeah and so you can see it's already starting to expand so that is gonna be delicious I mean there's like no real it's not super sweet you get antioxidants um, so it's like a healthy snack and you can use any kind of fruit that happens to be in season you certainly do not need to use canned cherries and people are probably like why didn't she use fresh because girl does not have time to be pitting cherries and water in. And I also went ahead and spiralized up uh, some zucchini noodles. I put it on the fettuccine setting. Have that with lentils tonight. For so I'm gonna steam this up uh, later on tonight and have that with my brown lentils and then the, probably a, and then probably a spinach salad because you know, with my girl heels on top and serve up some of that chia pudding for dessert. So Monday night. Not a bad Monday for me, but, oh, update. So, I don't know if you noticed this dressing. This is a, a Tegaderm and a little circle band-aid that I have there. I've engineered this, um, and it's actually perfect for this one little cut that I got for my scrape the other day. It really looks far more dramatic than it actually is. Um, it's just where the abrasion is, where, where the where the abrasion is, it overlaps like this little area here and it's difficult to get a band-aid to go over it um, properly and I just find this is perfect. So anyways, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and head to the gym and I'll check in with you guys later. Well, hey guys, I just got back from the gym and uh, showered and, and what have you and I have to say I am really enjoying the Haralabo uh, skin plumping gel cream. It's just as good if not i don't want to speak prematurely maybe a little bit better than hydro boost i don't know i don't know long how i don't know how long this has been uh manufactured but i almost feel like neutrogena just kind of stole their idea and tried to make their own um but this one i'm really liking it okay i was recalcitrant to uh to leap on this bandwagon but I really think this is a good product. It's fragrance-free, dye-free. The other thing that I've noticed about it is it's got, uh, it goes a lot further. It's not, when I say it goes a lot further, I mean, I'm really just putting a tiny P and I just find that it goes on the face a lot more. It spreads on the skin a lot better. And it really does seem to grab onto a little bit more, more moisture. A little bit more of the water and hold it on there and then I've just been coming over um, tonight I came over it with my um, Neutrogena oil-free moisturizer because I haven't cracked into the um, hyaluronic acid uh, lotion that I showed in my skincare haul <clears throat> just yet and uh, similarly to my usual nighttime skincare routine I let that dry on there and then I put the different on I, you guys continue to ask me about methyl paraben and and that sort of thing as far as I'm concerned parabens are a fantastic ingredient to have in water-based things like this because they're preservatives that you know prevent things like pseudomonas which is a water-loving bacteria from thriving and, and that bacteria can really cause problems in the skin so I don't know where parabens have suddenly become so demonized. There are, you know, in some people, unfortunately, some people can develop an allergy to them, but that's true of any ingredient, okay? And so, you know, to make this hype over avoiding parabens is just a false prophecy because you could pick any ingredient on anything. Anything that comes in contact with the skin always has the potential 
for you to develop a sensitivity to it. Um, you know, poison ivy is a classic example of that. But the all natural stuff is not out, you know, is, is equally if not more likely than, than these kinds of cosmetic ingredients to, to do those kinds of things. So, um, you know, I, I continue to, uh, to be on, you know, I, I don't see any reason to avoid parabens unless you have then unless you've seen a healthcare provider such as a dermatologist who has determined by something called patch testing that you have a, a hypersensitivity to parabens applied to the skin, then you need to avoid them, okay? That's why Vanny Cream makes things like paraben-free creams. It's for those people. And that's why I always generally say go with the Vanny Cream stuff because I don't know if you are those people, okay? I have no way of knowing that. Um, but that's the way to find out, you know, is to see, it's a, it's a dermatologist who does this testing. It's not an allergist, it's a dermatologist. It's called patch testing. Um, and it can happen to any ingredient, honestly. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come in there because I, I, I continue to get comments almost nightly on any skincare product I recommend. Parabens or methyl paraben. And anyways, guys, like I said, I am loving this. Um, uh, you know, I obviously filmed these a week in advance, so I have no comments or feedback from you guys at this point about my um, Q&A or my skincare haul that went up yesterday. So if you're like, why is she not addressing this, that, or the other, that's why. But I really like this so far. So um, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.